You know what? You're all right. So this is pretty cool. There's a group of 30 skiers here and they're trying to break a world record where they all do a backflip at once. An internet stunt video that wasn't a complete disaster? It's great. So here's what's interesting. According to this article, they actually didn't get the world record because they hadn't contacted the Guinness World Records official in time to certify the record. Sorry guys, it doesn't count. Can we get a do-over from the 30 of you? So despite how incredible this is and the fact that they got it on video, they didn't actually get the world record because the Guinness Book guy wasn't there to see the stunt being performed. So I don't know if these guys actually got that record or not or if that story's true, but if it is true, it's bullshit because that flip thing is amazing. I can't do shit on skis, but fall down a mountain. So the fact that they were able to do this, I'm, I'm just, this is impressed. Just saying. I know every time that I say, don't try this at home, you're like, sweet, something I'm gonna try at home. Honey, give me my beer. The midget on the internet is telling me not to do something, so I gotta do it. Don't try this at home. Seriously though, don't try this at home. This is as dangerous and as dumb as it sounds. You'll see. So these kids here are, <sighs> intentionally trying to make themselves pass out. Do it till you feel it. Okay, I'm not doing it anymore. This is painful. Now, funny thing about trying to make yourself pass out is that eventually you pass out. Oh, oh, I see what they're doing. It's like you want to pass out without all the worry and hassle of drinking and having a good time. And so what's crazy is that when you pass out, you often don't remember. So this kid wakes up in a panic. What happened? What happened? You hurt What happened? You ever heard of consequences? It's not a screamo band. It's a real thing. You, sir, just felt the consequences of your actions. You'll learn about those the hard way. Also, guys, I see this all the time with internet videos, and it bugs the hell out of me. So this kid passes out, falling on a glass table, and everyone just kind of stands around and looks at him. Don't bother to, you know, help him or perhaps call someone. No, guys, I don't mean to get, like, too preachy on the show or anything, but, hey, man, you make yourself pass out over a glass table, what the hell do you expect to happen? By the way, I'm gonna be, like, the biggest whole condescending father ever when that day comes you already know you guys know what old spice is ask your grandpa he knows so for those of you who don't know old spice is a brand they've been around for a long time they make soaps and colognes and other things you probably don't use so in the last few years they've successfully rebranded themselves by making these really odd commercials if you're playing to win here's a brand new soap for you nope i was wrong this is a commercial for fruit nope i was right it's a really for soap. What the fuck? How is that a commercial for soap? I mean, I saw this commercial and I felt like the kid in the last video. What happened? What happened? I'm sorry, Old Spice, but your commercial has not thoroughly convinced me that I need to use soap. And I didn't know basketballs are made of watermelon. I mean, no wonder black guys dominate the sport. <laughs> Too racist? Anyway, the commercial's funny, but what I don't understand is why is there a watermelon inside of a basketball? And why is there soap inside of that watermelon? I mean, I feel like if you break open that bar of soap, there'd be something weird in there too, like a, a human finger. Anyway, guys, so this got 4.2 million views. So it went viral. I mean, it did its job and it was memorable. So with that being said, good job, Old Spice. And I don't know if this is intentional or not, but the bar of soap at the end is upside down. And before you ask, guys, no, Old Spice is not paying me to review their commercial. And by the way, Old Spice, if you would like to send me bags and bags of money, maybe some Old Spice products, an old jar of spices, an Old Spice Girl CD, an old stripper named Spice, any of that would be totally fine. You know, that commercial phenomenon is really weird because I, I don't feel, unless it's a movie trailer, I don't feel like I actually pay attention to commercials. Like when they come on, I click over to Twitter or Facebook. The same thing when I'm on a computer. And I really mean that. So what, here's a question. So what is the last commercial you remember? Like what is the premise of the commercial and the product? Like I want to see how many of you remember a product from a commercial. Leave it in the comments section and we'll see. I, I can't imagine it's that recent. You'll be like, oh, I remember this commercial when I was five years old, bam, bam, bam. but I just don't feel like today people really sit through that shit. like a fucking commercial, I gotta check my phone or whatever. So anyway, it's weird. 
But I got to get off here. Otherwise, I'll just ramble on and on and on. And you guys will be like, who's that fucking weird ass midget on the computer who just keeps talking about nothing? I don't know. <laughs> him. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Uh, a petrified dick.